Hi, this is Tony Ling. Uh, welcome to my video. During this pandemic, are you getting most of your information from the mainstream media news outlet like CNN, CNBC, CBS, and CNBC? If the answer is yes, you might actually watch the advertisement from the big pharmaceutical company instead of news. Let me share this video with you. Is brought to you by Pfizer. CBS Health Watch sponsored by Pfizer. Anderson Cooper 360. Brought to you by Pfizer. ABC News Nightline. Brought to you by Pfizer. Making a difference. Brought to you by Pfizer. CNN Tonight. Brought to you by Pfizer. Early start. Brought to you by Pfizer. Friday night on Aaron Burnett out front. Brought to you by Pfizer. This week with George Stephanopoulos is brought to you by Pfizer. This weather report brought to you by Pfizer. Today's countdown to the royal wedding is brought to you by Pfizer. And now a CBS Sports update brought to you by Pfizer. Meet the press. Data download. Brought to you by Pfizer. This portion of CBS This Morning sponsored by Pfizer. On how to find the hidden sugars in the American family diet. Sponsored by Pfizer. As you can see, the mainstream media is not a reliable source to get unbiased news because, after all, they are sponsored by the big pharma. However, today I just learned from the interview from the head of the CDC, Dr. Rachel Walensky. She said she heard from the CNN that this Kuwait has 95% efficacy and she got excited and thought this was the ticket to get out of this pandemic. Let us uh, hear this uh, interview directly from the Dr. Rachel Walensky and listen to what she said. Um, where could we have improved? Um, well, you know, I think I can tell you where I was when the CNN feed came, that it was 95% effective, um, the vaccine. So many of us wanted to be hopeful. So many of us wanted to say, okay, this is our ticket out, right? Now we're done. Um, so I think we had perhaps too little caution and too much optimism um, for some good things that came our way. I, I really do. I, I think all of us wanted this to be done. So she said that she heard this 95% efficacy from the CNN. However, we have to understand that CNN is sponsored by the big pharma. So if you just believe whatever say on the CNN and based on that, you, come, you get excited and you come up with the public health policy. That is not how you do the public health. If that's the way you do the public health, uh, we don't need the uh, CDC, uh, Dr. Rachel Walensky. Uh, we can just uh, let the Pfizer be the CDC, right? CDC has uh, 10,000 employees and over 10 billion annual budget. I believe uh, CDC has enough resource to verify this 95% efficacy. Nobody said waning when, when you know, mm -hmm. oh, this vaccine's gonna work. Oh, well, <laughs> maybe it'll work, it'll wear off. Nobody say waning. Well, I guess this is supposed to be CDC's job to check if this could wane, right? When the Pfizer uh, present these uh, Pfizer vaccine data to the CDC, to the FDA, uh, this is open data. And when they did this trial, uh, they only took about four months. This 95% efficacy is based on this trial for four months. Of course, uh, you don't know whether after four months this could went off. And nobody said this could went off. It's a CDC and FDA. It's government, public health officials' job to check to double check whether this thing could went off. And now she said, uh, nobody said this could went off. Uh, it, it, to me, it's like, uh, it's not kind of the words that the head of the CDC would say. 
off. Um, nobody said, well, what if the next variant doesn't, it doesn't, it's not as potent against the next variant. Nobody says uh, this uh, cool way is not as potent as against the next variant. First, you have to know this is the basic of the uh, science. It doesn't, you, you don't need to be a biologist uh, to figure this out. This uh, coronavirus is RNA virus. And RNA virus is much easier to mutate, just like influenza virus. Every year when the full season comes, uh, there will be a new strain. So that is why you need to always uh, update your uh, Kuwait so that to against the newer strain of the virus. So this is not a new thing, right? You don't have to be a biologist uh, to figure this out. And this is the head of the CDC. Uh, how come she doesn't know that the RNA virus, the coronavirus, will keep mutating? Uh, that is uh, pretty bizarre. Yeah, I don't know what else to say. And uh, this is uh, very, very concerning because uh, in this interview, we see the head of the CDC. Uh, she got her information from the CNN and uh, looked like uh, she didn't actually uh, verify this data. Although uh, CDC has uh, 10,000 employees and 10 billion a budget every year. If the head of the CDC doesn't know how to do its job, how come they could create a good public health policy? So if you think this video is informative, uh, please uh, share this video with more people. And uh, thank you for watching today's video. Have an amazing day and I'll see you soon in my next video. Bye!